subscribe. <laughs> yes. Uh, press the like button. Yes. You know. Um, Next time, you might. Next time. of Infantric Namibia where we're just experiencing a bit of work vacation, vacation um, as part of our lives and after our, our program we then proceeded to go for a two-day trip down to the coast to the to the west of Namibia on a road trip to the coast. This was a road trip from Fintok all the way to Swakopmund. It took about six to seven hours driving down through Namibia's plains. You see that it starts being green, it becomes drier and drier. And we made a quick stop in Karibu Pib just to get some built on one of the favorite things that Anna and Kelvin love built on. But there she was trying to make me buy more built on than we're supposed to buy. We love built on. And then we continue proceeding through through the journey. The landscape becomes a bit more interesting. You also get to pass through a number of towns along the way where you can stop, refresh, and then you see these amazing, majestic mountains to your left. And as we get into to into, into Swakopmund, you get to see it becomes hotter and drier, and there's very little vegetation, but lots of cars. Swakopmund is a beautiful place to be. As soon as you get into the, into the town, you the city just feel coastal weather just coming out of the way. Beautiful breezes. And the first thing that Dr. Wandi took us to was this jetty from the 1905. It's free to enter, so you can enjoy sunsets by the water. Coastal places to be in, but on this evening it was high tide. The wind calls not to play with. Hello, guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Z, and I'm Kev. And Kev is behind the scenes. And today we have a very special person Calvin, 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 turn the camera. Yo, what's up? My name is Wandi. Um, we in the coast, we in the west, living our best lives. Uh -oh. Amen. <laughs> join Amen. us, join us for the trip. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, we're in the coast of Namibia. Um, we came down yesterday, and it's chilly. Ay, God, shame. Uh, but uh, guys, follow us see what we see and as always hey guys leave your comments and press the like button subscribe um comment subscribe <laughs> yes uh, press the like button yes you know um next time you might, next time you might, you might be with us eh? <laughs> yes bye so, so where are we headed first we don't know coffee Swakopmund is a town or is a city with just beautiful, beautiful infrastructure. Like a lover of design and everything architecture, I was just, I'm always in amazement of the beautiful buildings. But it's great just to drive around the town, which is small, to see, to see life, to see beauty, to see design, to see structures, and to see also brands and logos and stuff that we are not so privileged to see every single day. Just makes you appreciate. I think for us, the biggest thing about this trip is gratitude. 
just knowing that we're just grateful to God for these opportunities for us to be able to serve. Hey guys, so our first stop today is the National Marine Aquarium here in Squakopmont. Did I say it correctly? Yes. Yeah, Squakopmont. And it's quite cheap. It's ten dollars for uh, ten dollars a person, right? Yeah. So make sure that when you visit, you go into the aquarium, especially for those people that come from landlocked countries, <laughs> <laughs> like myself. And who don't like water? And Kelvin. <laughs> who don't like and water? And who are too scared to do water sports? This is a way for you to enjoy. The <laughs> To the, enjoy water the water without, without touching actually it actually getting into the water or so yeah the national aquarium is like right by the beachfront so it's also nice in that when you come you actually see the beach so yeah guys follow me as soon as we walked into the aquarium they saw a camera they're like yeah sure go ahead vlog as much as you want and it's a beautiful place if you love water if you love animals, sea creatures, it's good for it's a good spot to take a woman on a date. <laughs> but it's a beautiful place to see, to learn, and just to see also the wonders, the beauty of God and the beauty of creation, the weird animals, the so-called weird animals. But at the same time it's also just beautiful to see what is out there which is also part of life and living. And the beautiful thing is we had Dr. Wandi explaining all the medical terms that we could not understand as much as she could understand. I don't know if you call him Nemo. What was the name of that Nemo character? But just seeing sea creatures and seeing, but also seeing families enjoy the space, seeing families just connect and walk up, children walking around, just amazed. It makes you appreciate the beauty of God, it makes you appreciate the beauty of life. And three hours later, you're full, you're grateful, but you've also learned a lot just by spending time in a peaceful place, in a serene place, getting to see the beautiful things. No, it's not sometimes rocks that we don't know what they are about. But then only you learn to realize that behind the rock there is something living. If you've never seen a shark, this is this place to see sharks. Dolphins. Sharks? Yes, sharks and not dolphins, but to see a big shark. That we always see in cartoons and movies. And also see some amazing fishes that you never get to see. And as usual, it's the, it's the non medical person explaining stuff. <laughs> One of the biggest tanks. It's over 100 year old turtle. It's a what? This guy has been alive for over a hundred years. Skywalk, whatever, we walk under the pond, and you get to see the fishes close by. That's the view that you have from the aquarium of the sea the ocean, the beach, the beach from the jetty. It's a good place to sit and just calm down. The aquarium. We at the aquarium. <laughs> Looking at all the fish, all the stingrays, turtles, the 
turtle was the coolest. We were told a story that the turtle by a kid. By the kid, yeah. Yeah, I think he must be about like six or seven. Yeah. He said it's a endangered species and that the turtle was bitten by a shark. <laughs> yeah, the leg is one of its yeah, one of its yes. Appendages. Appendages. Yes, see it. See, see the doctor in the coming out like appendages. <laughs> Guys, the other cool, the other cool thing was all the names, like the scientific names, sound like uh, the the spells on, on Harry Potter, like Hocus Pocus, <laughs> Hocus Pocus Latin. Yes, but this is a cool place to bring like kids. Um, if you're on holiday, by the time they get out of the aquarium, they'll be too tired for anything. They'll sleep. But yeah, it's also nice. I think we were commenting that it's also it's nice for those ca for kids coming from landlocked countries to really get an appreciation. What's up with the landlocked? No, it's true because it's not all African countries that have access to to the sea or ocean. So if you want kids to get an appreciation of blue waters, places like this are really cool. They get an appreciation of it. I know like a lot of kids in private school, yes, in Zim, they then the experience. But if you live in Namibia or you want an affordable holiday, you can come to Swat. It's very cheap places. That you can Ten dollars. Yeah, that you can stay. And one of the activities you can do is take the kids to the aquarium. Let them enjoy the sea. Let them learn about the sea. The fish, like some of the fish they eat, like mackerel. Huh? You know, they can see it like carpenter. They can see it like. Thank you. Yes. And then we had a genius, genius idea to rent a bike for the day, for 24 hours. And. Needless to say that one of our friends, my other half, needed to learn how to ride a bike quickly. But it was a genius idea to see a city. And Dr. Wandi spent time helping our dear sister out how to ride a bike. What a beauty it was to see. Kelvin, you're going too far for my friend. Why, why are you this person? I'm saying go. You don't have to walk. You don't have to ride at my pace. See the kids that learned how to ride bikes. When they were kids, teach your children how to ride bikes when they are kids. Look at me now. I'm walking. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging, but I'm walking. I'm vlogging whilst walking. Whilst these rich kids, these rich kids are riding bikes. <laughs> bikes for rent, guys. Let me get out of the road. I don't want any problems. Can you just be safe? That's the only thing I ask. Can you be safe? No tactics. You're about to start with the tactics. Guys, you're riding so slow. Even me, I'm bored. <laughs> now we are talking about. Guys, your slowness. Even us non riders. We are bored for you. for 
food right on the coast, the Tiger Reef. Tiger Reef is a beautiful place to see the sunset, have some food. Bad, 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 bad boys, Hi, you make guys. me feel so good. <laughs> What's up guys, so uh, after a day of going around in Swako, we found ourselves at the beef friend, Tiger Beef, Tiger Reef. Yeah, <laughs> Tiger Beef, Tiger Reef, <laughs> Tiger, Tiger Beef, Tiger Beach Bar and Grill. Uh, if you want to have a view of the beach in a sort of like semi-private, uh, you can come here. Bring your blankets. But bring your blankets, guys, because yeah, it's, it's quite cold. cold. And, and the we... wind, oh. guys. Oh, yeah, we removed the socks because of the video, but <laughs> still, we had socks. And then also, yeah, but it's like the stuff is affordable from the wine. I think the wine, a glass of wine was like 39 uh, Namibian dollars, which is the equivalent of 39 rands. And then we had hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. It was 33, 33, $33. Wait, how much is a hot chocolate in your country? <laughs> Just a yeah, cup of hot chocolate. Dollars, I think if you're not comparing, US dollars. yeah, 33 Namibian dollars is, is not so bad, guys. Because remember again, this is like a tourist place. So the price would obviously be a bit high, but it's not bad. Okay. All right, yeah. so we're gonna check out Sunset View. We're turning, we're turning, we're turning. We are turning, we are turning. Thank you for following our vlog today. Watch out for part two of, of the vlog where we get to see and explore other interesting parts of this coastal experience, our coastal trip to Swako and Walvish Bay. That was done in two days. Peace out, enjoy, have fun, catch you on the next one. Comment, subscribe, <laughs> yes. uh, press the like button. Yes, you know, um.